Hey everyone, welcome back to Awesomer Pop. Today I'm super excited to make some more popsicles with you. But this time we're gonna go festive with some Halloween themed popsicles. These are super easy and fun to make and I can't wait to show you how. But before we jump into it, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any awesome videos. Alright, so we only need a few ingredients. Some sugar. Heavy whipping cream. Milk. Vanilla extract and some food coloring and icing to decorate. We'll also need some popsicle molds and sticks. So let's pop open the heavy whipping cream and measure it. We'll need a cup and a half of this. Add that to a medium sized bowl. Now for the milk. I'm using whole milk so the popsicles are super rich, but you can use whatever milk you want. We'll need another cup and a half. Let's add in a tablespoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of sugar, Mix it all together until it's well combined. Now let's separate this into a couple bowls so we can color it. I'm going to leave some in the main bowl since I'm leaving one of the colors white. Let's add in orange, green, purple, blue, and black. Give that a good mix. Now that that's ready, let's go prepare the molds. You want to insert a popsicle stick into each. Now let's fill up the molds. This is for the mummy, a ghost, a pumpkin, Frankenstein, Dracula, a monster, some spider webs, and for the last one, I'm going to use both white and black to create gray for the tombstone. Swirl that around a bit and then we'll be good to go. Now carefully pop this into the freezer. I'm going to leave mine in there overnight. And we're back! Let's pop them out! As you can see, there is a little bit of spillage, but that's okay. I'm going to place these back into the freezer while I melt the chocolate. In a small bowl, add some white chocolate wafers or even chips if you don't have it. Then microwave it for 20 second intervals until it's melty. Once it looks like this, put it in a piping bag. Let's cut off a little bit of the tip so we can pipe on spider webs to the black popsicle. Nice! Now let's do the tombstone by writing RIP on it. And why not add some cracks too? Then for the blue one, I'll add a bunch of eyes to make it a monster. I feel like this popsicle is watching me. For the green popsicle, let's turn it into Frankenstein. I'll draw some black on top for the hair. Add on the eyes. Let's give him some angry eyebrows and a frown. Now add some stitches and he's all done. The orange one will be a jack-o'-lantern. Let's draw some triangles for the eyes. For the mouth, I'll make it smiling with the missing tooth. I'll also use green for the stem and vines. What a cute pumpkin! Next is Dracula. Let's draw a black collar up top. And then add the eyes. I'll give him a mischievous smile. And I'll use white chocolate for his fangs. He wants to suck your blood! Mwahaha! <laughs> now let's do the mummy. We'll need to cut the tip of the white chocolate bag a lot bigger. That way we can pipe on the lines for the mummy's wraps. Now just add on the eyes and you're done with your mummy. The last one is a ghost. This one's super simple. Just add on the eyes. Give it an oval for the mouth. And if you want, you can add some eyebrows. And that's it. Here's everything I made today. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite and what other spooky popsicles I should make. 
Time for the taste test. I think I'll go with the mummy. Mmm, that's delicious. The ice cream itself is super rich and creamy, and the chocolate wrapped around it has hardened into a crunchy shell. Hey everyone, welcome back to Awesome Pop. Today we're bringing chocolate offerings to appease the ghosts in the graveyard. Just kidding. But these brownies will have even the dead wanting some. So stick around and I'll show you how to make them. But before we jump into it, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any awesome videos. All right, so here's everything we'll need. Besides the basic brownie ingredients, we'll also need some Milano cookies, green frosting, black icing, and these pumpkin candies. Let's start making the brownie batter. In a bowl, crack in two eggs. Now add in half a cup of liquid gold, or butter. I'll add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract for flavoring. Let's give it a mix. Once it looks like this, add in one cup of sugar, a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, Let's mix that up. Now add in a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And finally, three-fourths a cup of all-purpose flour. Let's mix it up. That looks perfect. Now in a pan, grab the wrapper of the butter and grease up the sides and the bottom. Then just pour in the batter. Try your best and even it out. Now just pop it into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. While that's baking, let's work on the cookies. Open this up and grab a few. Now break the cookies in half so we can use it as a tombstone. If you want your tombstones to be shorter, just break it in half evenly. And if you want them to be taller, break off the bottom portion and just use the bigger side. Now it's time to write on them. Use your black icing to write R.I.P. That looks good. Let's go check on the brownies. After 20 minutes, it should look like this. You'll know it's ready when you can stick a toothpick in and it comes out clean. After waiting for this to cool for about 15 minutes, just run a knife around the edges. That'll help loosen up the brownie from the pan. Then pop it out onto a tray. Let's flip it over one more time. We want the details on the other side of the brownie because it resembles the ground more. Let's trim off the edges. Feel free to snack on this. It's the best part. Now let's slice it into eight pieces. Then just stick on the tombstones. And now use your green frosting to create some vines for the pumpkins to sit on. You can add more green after like this. Do this for all the pieces. And you're done! Check it out, everyone! This is a fun and easy treat to make this Halloween season. And brownies are always a crowd pleaser. And don't worry, this recipe makes delicious ones. Let's give it a try! Mmm! That's super rich and moist. 
and the brownies are super chewy because of the top crust. All in all, I definitely recommend this recipe. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks!